Hello Bronies! Welcome to this corner of the universe where you can leave your anger, your sadness, your lists, and everything that we deal with day in and day out at the door. And you get to spend just a moment taking a break from the world. So welcome. I have lots to share with you. Um, I spent uh, a much needed break with friends and uh, I mean it kind of fills the soul is all I can say. It fills the soul. So we took Penny and we went on the other side of the mountain and visited with, uh, I visited with several people. Um, my former neighbor and friend and um, bookie, which um, we have a book club of two, <laughs> which we do over Zoom. It was so great to spend some time with her. I also was able to get together with my um, other book group, the Kappas, and there are five of us who, and it was the Kappas and Hubbies. Um, many times we've gone camping all together. We all worked in the medical field together and our husbands are used to, um, and significant others, are used to having the conversation uh, take no more than five or ten minutes before it, it moves towards medicine and something gross and something gross. So they're used to, used to us um, having that happen. Um, but it was really wonderful because we got to visit the new home of, of one of our group. And it was absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful in Bend, Oregon. And uh, just the perfect spot for them to have landed. I also met up with um, one of my stitchy friends, which I'll talk more about on the Stitch Roadie channel. That was really awesome. And um, my Fabric Stalkers group got together for just a, a day of stitching and um, Val made soup for us all and we stitched and shared and laughed and dreamt, you know, this is the group that if, you, if you're if you not new to the channel, this is the group that I first started quilting with back in 1993. It's made up of all doctors and nurses and there are a couple of family members. So it is, um, you know, one that's special to my heart in terms of that we raised each other's children. Um, yeah, death, divorce, heartache, joy, all of that comes with living and being in relationship long term with friends. So we spent the day stitching and sharing together and um, I have to show you one of <clears throat> one of my friends, um, Dale, she is um, an incredible, incredible piecer. And many times, many times she will uh, show up to my sewing room, bless her pee pick and heart. And she is so precise and at the same time so quick that she'll come into my sewing room and she'll say, is there anything you want pieced? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And last time she was here... I had a roll of Civil War fabrics that I have had in, and this is an issue that I have. Hope you have your drink and your snack, because this is going to be chatty. I um, have a problem when I buy um, pretty fabrics that I love in unwrapping the bundle. It, it, the bundle becomes a decor item. 
I don't know if any of you have that same mindset, but I... Yeah, so this roll was a big roll of Civil War fabrics that was sold at the Stitch and Post in Sisters, Oregon with a pattern for a log cabin quilt. And it was so beautiful in its roll that it stayed in its roll. <laughs> it stayed in its roll. And so I told Dale, I said, well, I can't unroll it, but if you can unroll it, you can... You can um, piece that for me. And so she brought it to our um, meetup and all done. I'm not going to be able to show you the whole thing because it is big. But let me just give you an idea. Yeah. It's like... That's just half of it. <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? I am very excited about it, and it is going to go in my family room. Yeah, I'm very excited about it. But didn't she do just, you know, and, <laughs> and that's the funny thing, is that would have stayed in a role and been... Uh, probably ended up at Goodwill after my passing. <laughs> but instead, I have a quilt now that just needs to be quilted and that will be on the back of my couch. I think I'm going to back it with a flannel so that... Um, oh, here's all the little papers that fell out of it. See, this is the, this is the quilt. Um, it's just a card stock, and it was um, published by the Stitch and Post back in 2006. Um, I'm sure you still can get... Oh, and this is Vintage Log Cabin by our very own Jackie Erickson, who is going to be the featured quilter this year at the Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show. And, yeah amazing she is an amazing teacher and quilter so if you're able to get to the sisters outdoor quilt show you'll have to check her out um, if not G will be doing a video of the quilt show so you'll get to see it anyway if you can't make the trip I'm looking forward to um, meeting up with some of you I will be having um, a meet and greet kind of event at Fika Coffee, which is my friend Renee's coffee shop. I will have it there sometime during quilt show day. I have not um, yet figured out a time. Most likely in the afternoon. Yeah. So today, while I'm talking, I'm going to be... Um, Working on the binding for my my um, beehive quilt that will be part of the quilts in the garden. Um, so I have to get that binding done. What else do I have here? Oh, this is the funniest thing. I have to share this with you. Remember, I was working on those um, for the, with the back quarter shop um, charm bundle with the um, Cinco de Mayo type fabrics. Remember this? Yeah. Do you remember that? And what I used was this pattern, Charms Brick, Charming Bricks and Sticks by Creekside Stitches. Well, the funniest thing was, is it takes a charm pack and then some background fabric. It takes a charm pack and then three-fourths of a yard. I thought that that charm pack was for one table runner. So I was going to be making that table runner for my daughter-in-law, um, my older daughter-in-law, and... Um, 
when I was stitching it together, piecing it together, it is, I'm telling you, this needs to be part of, and I'm sure you can get this all on the Fat Quarter Shop, but this needs to be part of your everyday go-to, I need to make something quick for somebody gift. But what was really funny was, I knew it comes with the pattern for a table runner and and you, you also can make four placemats. What I didn't realize was that the instructions for cutting the charm pack makes it the table runner and the four placemats. And I, I wasn't going to make the placemats. I just wanted the table runner. But I didn't know that when I did the cutting. See, this is what happens. This is why one kind of wants to read the entire directions and maybe absorb it. I did read the directions, but it didn't sink into me that my charm pack was going to be making up four placemats and a table runner. So I'm sewing along and I'm suddenly starting to realize that my table runner's getting is going to be really long. And I said, how can that, what the heck is going on? And so when I counted the strips, it finally dawned on me that Cutting up one charm pack makes four placemats and the table runner. Well, I didn't want to do the placemats because I use Valerie Wells's placemats, which I love that pattern. And um, so I ended up with two table runners, so I get to have one. <laughs> which is really good because as I was making this table runner, <clears throat> I was thinking, oh, I really like this table runner. But look at that. It is the easiest, peasiest pattern for a charm pack. I'm very excited about it. Very excited. I mean... A housewarming gift, anything like that. So here I have my my second one. One for me, one for you, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> so read your directions, huh? Well, when I got back. I um, picked up mail. I didn't, uh, you know, I hadn't picked up my mail, so there was quite a little pile. And um, one of the things I picked up um, on this particular podcast will have two giveaways. Yeah. Can you believe it? Although, this giveaway, I was told that I could keep it and not give it away. But Michelle included a postage envelope to give it away. So, it's like, <sighs> wow, wow. Yeah. So I'm going to give it away. <laughs> if she hadn't included the envelope with the postage already on it, I wouldn't have given it away. But you know, uh, Michelle, the, the um, woolen willow, you know her. Because we want everything of hers. You know, the, the stuffed strawberries, the pin cushions, the... Um, all the decor items she's just um, and I'll put the link below on how to um, get to her shop but just so you know I I have you know I'm I'm a fan what can I say I'm a fan and this is her latest book 
if you were a follower, you have been following all of those skinny pillows, bowl filler pillows or pincushion pillows that she's been showing on her Instagram feed. And she did publish a book that includes the skinny pillows across the seasons. So look at them all. Aren't they adorable? You know, it's got to feel extraordinary to have published a book. I mean, she's got to feel extraordinary. And every single one of them is adorable. Yeah. I wonder how fast I can make one of these before I have to mail it out. <laughs> But if you are interested in winning this book by Michelle of the Woolen Willow, in the comments, let's see, skinny, <laughs> skinny, and see how you spell skinny? And this is from Under the Woolen Willow. Um, so in your comments, put skinny. And we'll draw for a winner. I mean, look at these. They are so fabulous. Yeah, I just love these. She's so talented. She is so talented. So, again, use the word skinny. Especially if you're talking about me. <laughs> and one of you will get this lovely, lovely book. What else? Um, I got a fabric package in the mail that I had forgotten that I ordered. In fact, I think I've already bought one of these since then, and now the fabric came in. But this is from Fort Worth Fabric Studio in Fort Worth, Texas. And I'll put these links down below, but this is this awesome, I just love this fabric. And I think I already own a piece of this now, but now I have more of it. And then this one is the printed panel of um, by Moda Blackbird Designs Threads That Bind I mean look at this I just um, I just love this and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it and in my mind I'm thinking maybe a bag I don't know. I don't know yet. I just know that I love it. So that came while I was gone. I also have um, an exciting uh, project ahead of me, and that is um, I, I fell in love with the threads that bind fabric. And the Fat Quarter Shop has um, pre-cuts. Uh, they're getting, in June, they're getting the yardage. But um, they still have the pre-cuts. And I decided I wanted to make something out of the pre-cuts. Kind of get ahead of the game a little bit. So if any of you would like to join me, you can get onto Fat Quarter Shop. And what I've ordered is um, a jelly roll and a five inch charm pack of the threads that bind. I love everything about Blackbird Design. I mean, uh, just lovely fabrics that make you feel homey. And um, the Fat Quarter Shop has offered to give to one of you a $35 gift card. So if you are interested in uh, a gift card to either join me in the threads that bind or anything else um, 
be sure you sign up to be a follower of the Fat Quarter Shop and also be sure you sign up on Instagram to follow uh, under the Woolen Willow. Um, you know, that's the least one can do, huh? But um, the Fat Quarter Shop, <clears throat> if you could follow the Fat Quarter Shop's YouTube channel and also um, check out the pre-cuts of the threads that bind. So I'm doing the Jelly Roll and the 5-inch Charm Pack because I'm thinking I need a, a buttermilk, I'm not buttermilk, although I love her too, um, a Blackbird Design um, table topper of some kind. And I like to use those Charm Packs. And I just wanted to make a quilt. And so I decided to use a jelly roll. Um, they also have the 10 inch layer cakes. But I, you know, I'm sitting here looking at my books and today's book we're gonna review is this one. This book, it satisfies all of those need, um, when you go and a new line of fabric is released and you just, you want it all, you just can't get it all. You either can't afford it or you don't have the space for it, but you just want to taste it. It's kind of like you just want the free seas candy they give you. You know, just the one piece. Can I just come in here and get the one piece? Do I have to buy the 10 pound box? Yeah. So the pre-cuts kind of satisfy that itch. But this book, Perfect Quilts for Pre-Cut Fabrics, has 64 patterns for fat quarters, charm squares, jelly rolls, and layer cakes. And this is by the Patchwork Place. And what I chosen, I kind of went through the book, and what I chose was this uh, quilt. And with, um, with a jelly roll, one jelly roll, plus the background fabric, and I'm going to wait till the jelly roll arrives to choose my background fabric. But the, with one jelly roll, you have enough to make a twin size quilt. And I'm making this one here. It's called the apple of your eye. The apple of my eye. But it kind of reminds me of spools of thread. Yeah, so I'm going to be doing that if you want to join me. Truly, this book has so many. And if you're like me, I'm a connoisseur of the pre-cuts. It satisfies that itch. The, uh, there's another one in here that I really like. <clears throat> I mean, there's dozens of them that I like, but when I was flipping through to try and decide which one I wanted, I was like, oh. I can't find it now. But every quilt in here is so cute. Look at this one called Flower Power. So, just to kind of remind you, if you want to be in the running for the Under the Woolen Willow book, in your comments, use the word skinny. Please make sure you're a subscriber to my channel, that you check out Michelle's Instagram. I'll have that all listed in the drop down box. Also, if you would like to be 
uh, in the running for the $35 gift card from the Fat Quarter Shop and potentially join me in stitching uh, a pre-cut which I will be using the threads that bind uh, jelly roll um, be sure you leave be sure you sign up to be a subscriber and then what did I already say what word did I already say well you know you're going to be watching this so make sure that you leave that in the comments <laughs> sometimes that brain just doesn't fire Let's see, is that all the piles that I have around here? Other than I'm going to be stitching away on my binding. So the drive over the mountain was absolutely beautiful. And um, we decided, because there, were no, there was no longer any... Um, logging going on on the road left over from the fire um, that we would go over Santium Pass and it was um, encouraging to see how much rebuilding has been going on because you know there were several communities that were totally devastated and um, a lot of new building and the drive was beautiful, no snow on the ground, a little bit on the side of the road. And I always love seeing Black Butte, you know, it's a, it's a part of our family history. And uh, so when we get over to that side and start to get to the top, get to see Black Butte, we know we're home free. And we were shocked. I mean, we were shocked when we uh, drove into Sisters. I I told G. I said, "Is there something going on?" I said, "No, it's it's not rodeo, because that's not till June." But there was literally no parking spaces available uh, in the center of town. It was like totally packed, and people out in the sun enjoying themselves and. Yeah, it was absolutely fabulous. And so um, we checked into our campground, and we were asked several times by different friends if we miss being on in Sisters because it's absolutely a lovely community with lovely people, at least all the people that I knew. Um, and what I can say is I miss the walkability of sisters. Literally, from where we were camped, we could walk all over town. And I did. I walked to uh, Fika Coffee and um, walked to the Stitch and Post, which was on the other side of town. It's all very, uh, it's a little, it's still a charming little town, although there's a lot of building going on there. Um, but truly, all that I miss, the thing I miss the most, is my girlfriends. Yeah, that's what I miss the most. I love where I'm at, but I tend to be, I tend to be that person that loves the spot I'm in. Uh, and so, being close to family, and um, being where we have chosen to land at this part of our journey. Um, I have no regrets, no regrets, but I certainly do miss friends. It was a long history on that side of the mountain. It was a long history. So we cam camped at the campground, and um, it was um, nice, nice weather. First night was kind of chilly at night, but you know, we're all tucked in kind of sweet and, and penny, and um, it was just fun for G and I to be camping. It was just fun. And um, 
and then I walk down to the stitch and post which you will see in this video a walk around for the stitching post I did um, they were having a you know in twigs they had a art display and it was a husband and wife and I immediately wanted to get um, a stained glass window that the husband does stained glass window Terry and just beautiful beautiful and and he's such a charming person because we talked on the phone <laughs> and so he's going to be um, creating a stained glass window for me uh, it's uh, his artwork is beautiful as is his wife's she's the quilter art quilter so you'll see that video at the end of this video and um, yeah it it uh, it was so busy it was just so busy luckily for me I got into the stitching post before they opened so I could do a walk around and um, before the crowds got in there because let me tell you there was crowds then I met my a couple of my neighbors um, for coffee and that was really nice to catch up it's really nice to catch up and one of my friends from my uh, well, she's a quilter and a cross-stitcher. Um, and her, she has a floss tube, which is a YouTube channel about cross-stitch, if you're not aware of that. Um, uh, Lori Textilist. Um, it was fun having coffee with her and catching up and talking. And Yep, I do miss friends from the other side of the mountain. But I did a lot of stitching in the van at night, and we watched, um, you know, we have a DVD player in the van that is hooked up to the little television. It's just a little television. And so we watched um, Are You Being Served? We watched some of that, Are You Being Served? Um, we watched Willow, if you've ever seen that movie with Val Kilmer. It's a sweet, sweet movie, so we watched that. Um, I'm listening to a book on uh, an audio book, and that audio book is um, The Stranger in the Lifeboat. It is so intriguing. It just, it has me hooked. So I'm listening to that. Yeah, just a lot of fun things going on in this stitchy world. Because that's kind of, um, we only have control of our own lives, it seems. So as much as we'd like to be in charge of everything else. <laughs> oh. Well, I hope you enjoy the video of the Stitch and Post and the little bit of walking I did around town. And we shall see you the next time. You take care. Hang in there. Remember, only you can control how your heart and mind. You have control of that. And we have to work hard. And... Um, Take care of each other. Take care of each other. So enjoy, and we'll see you next time.
Hey everyone! I am in Sisters, Oregon, and the thing I miss the most about Sisters is the walkability. So I'm going to walk from where we're camped down to the stitching post, and we'll go check out if there's anything new. Of course there's new. <laughs> okay, stay tuned. So many beautiful new things at the Stitch and Post. Oh my gosh, I hope many of you will make the Sisters Outdoor Quilt Show um, the second Saturday in July because if not for any reason, but to come into this shop is going to be spectacular. And there is, in the Twigs Gallery, is Belinda and her husband's, well, Belinda's quilts and her husband's stained glass and so much of it has already sold it's just beautiful this here is the raffle quilt and it's made with the sticks and stones fabric line by Jean Wells you are definitely going to want to buy a raffle ticket and she's coming out with a whole new line of fabric next year <gasps> I don't know. I am totally sold on this one here. This is like spectacular. So let's just take a walk around. I'll try to move very slowly. And look at Sue Spargo's Squash Squad. fabric line. And here's some already made up kits from Sue Spargo where all the pieces are already die cut out and you can make them into pin cushions. of these quilts will have little tags on them that say if there's a kit available.
Also carries yarn, like yarn, like you would not believe. Currently I'm standing in the twigs side of the shop. I will show you when you go back this way. That's the quilt shop over there. And this is twigs, which is yarn, home decor. It, um, it covers the art gallery. Look at this spectacular. A lot of the items that are on this side of the shop are for sale. Oh my gosh, I was talking about Crazy Patch. And here is a framed piece. What a clever idea to just do some decorative stitching and then frame it. Okay, so you can stop the video at this point and read about Terry. He is doing all of the stained glass that's on display here. And then his wife, Belinda, you can stop it there and these are all of her uh, quilting creations. But the stained glass is just... Gorgeous. How clever is this? This is an outdoor stained glass art that you can like have on your patio uh, to help enclose an area that you want to be private, like where your hot tub is. Three sisters. Home decor items are just gorgeous. This shop is turning into a three generation shop. We have Jean Wells, who has passed on the gauntlet to Valerie Wells, who I see her children are working in the shop, so that is amazing. and cross stitch kits.
Well, for those of you who are not able to come to Sisters, you can go on the website, or if you see something in this video that specifically calls to you, you can call them up, and they will be glad to sell it to you. For the rest of you who are coming to the quilt show, I can't wait to see you. This is the newest food cart in Sisters, Brunchies. It's owned uh, and operated by a girlfriend's daughter. Isn't it adorable? So it's right next to the open door.